Master Mark and Dar, we're going to be going over some wrist defenses just for our white belt. Very, very basic stuff. Uh, if you do our jiu-jitsu class, we might have them in, in, uh, in that too. So their self-defense for both arts are very similar. So I want to go over wrist defense. We're going to be going over some non-aggressive ones where we're not striking, we're just escaping. And then we're also going to be going over some where we actually strike the person. And when you do your strikes, you don't want to hit the person, you want to execute control. And I want to talk about why we do self-defense. There's three main reasons why we do self-defense. Number one is to learn how to escape out of a hole. During a fight, two things are probably going to happen. Either someone's going to grab you or they're going to try to hit you. If they try to grab you, then you want to learn how to get out of the moves. Okay? The other reason we do it is to gain leverage or control over somebody. Now in these particular self-defense, we're not doing any leverage or gaining control, we're just escaping out. And then the third reason, third reason is to learn the vital areas of the body, the soft spots of the body, like your nose, your eyes, your solar plex. Those are spots that, are, that you can't really make tougher. You can't become stronger in those areas. Someone that's a kid has about the same strength in their eyeball as a full grown man. So we're gonna be grabbing straight across every single time and I'm gonna give you guys some you can work on at home and if you have to do your tests, especially your black belt tests, we time them and uh, we see if you remember everything. So you're gonna come to attention, you're gonna bow, you're gonna show respect to your partner. Now, what's gonna happen is Zach's gonna grab my hand from straight across. First thing I wanna do is you're gonna make your hand real big. And the reason you make your hand real wide is it actually loosens his grip. Okay, if he's grabbing really tight, go ahead and grab really tight. If I make my hand really big, uh, it loosens the grip a little bit because it spreads your wrist. The next thing I also want to do is I want to stand in the guarding stance. If I don't stand in the guarding stance, Zach can pull me, go ahead and pull me, wherever he wants me to go. But when I stand in my guarding stance, now it's like a tug of war. It's hard for him to pull me around. And you want to get in that to, to really show the attacker that you're going to stand your ground no matter what. Now on this one, I put my elbow in my hip and I bring my hand right up to my ear just like this. Now this is one that is not an aggressive one. I didn't really hit Zach. I'm not upward elbowing him or anything like that. He's just kind of grabbing me. I step in, boom. Okay, watch again. Hand opens, step in, elbows by your ribs, and then bring your hand right up to your ear. And I always tell the kids to act like they're talking to their mom on the phone and say, hi mom. And that helps them to remember that one. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is one that we're actually striking the person. So Zach grabs again. This time I make a fist and I literally get in a really low stance, like I'm in a tug of war stance. And I'm gonna grab my own hand after I make a fist and I'm gonna pull my hand up to his back ear. Then after that, I'm gonna step forward and elbow strike right into the jaw. I'm using the back of my elbow, which is a very dense bone, and uh, you're striking to the vital area, which is your jaw. Uh, the jaw is a very sensitive part of your body. If you don't believe me, just bite your tongue. Okay, that doesn't feel very good when you actually bite your tongue. Most people don't say, man, I wish I bit my tongue again. Okay, there's a lot of nerves there. And when your head gets hit, it's jolted back, it shocks your brain and you can get knocked out. So watch again. Okay, step one, make a tight fist, get in a good deep stance so you can show that attacker that you have control. You grab the hand, you jerk away, and then you step forward and strike. Now if you're small or you're if you're kind of short, you can also throw a back fist up to the face too. It's not as effective as an elbow, an elbow is very dense in its attack. Okay, another one that you can do is your low block in your form. So when I do my form, I'm gonna step back on the same side, the arm comes up, and I'm gonna be striking right here, right on top of his arm with the hammer part of my, uh, the hammer part of my fist. And there's, a, there's, a, there's actually a pressure point about an inch above from his wrist right here that actually will get hurt if you hit it. So, and I pull my arm back, just like I'm doing my form. And that's the actual application for Kicho Young Yobu or any form where that is your preparation. So one more time, I step back on the opposite side, I bring the hand up, and I come down, just like that, okay? And uh, those are our three that we'll be just working on uh, on this video, and I'm gonna show you guys on another video some from the opposite side. So I'll talk to you guys later, bye.